is going on guys and welcome back to another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today I have another PU match, this one is against Jay, and this is a rain team that I built, just kind of for fun, I haven't used a rain team in a long time, and I figure why not stick with the, uh, the weather theme I've been having lately. So, uh, I pretty much just have Swift Swim, Relicanth, and Ludicolo, along with some other support mons with uh, the wall core of Cradilly and Weezing, which is pretty damn nice. So, uh, yeah, looking at my opponent's team, he's got some pretty good stuff, and overall it looks like a, uh, a standard PU team. So, this actually turned out to be an insanely good match. It's a pretty long one, and it came right down to the last turn. So, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So, I decide to lead off with my Cradilly. Uh, he shows me he actually ends up leading off with his Skun Tank. So, initially I'm thinking maybe Taunt just to... Uh, ensure I don't get my rocks up, but uh, other than that, I don't really see Skun Tank a whole lot, so I'm gonna actually end up going right for a Rock Slide here, as he turns out to go for Acid Spray. So, he sprays some gross shit on me, and that uh, makes my special defense drop harshly, so that is kind of unfortunate. Uh, I am a special defense wall, but with the harsh drop, I'm not gonna be able to take Dark Pulses too well, and I can't really hurt this thing too bad in return, as I get a little bit of chip damage there with the Rock Slide. So, I do want to switch out here. Uh, I decide to go into my Hitmonchan, who is Assault Vested, so I can, uh, I can handle any special attack this thing wants to throw at me, as it ends up just going for the Dark Pulse, which is fine, because I resist that. And with the, uh, that Assault Vest, I'm looking pretty nice. So, jumping around over here, I decide he's probably going to switch into that, uh, that Grand Bowl he's got. So I don't want to go right for a Drain Punch. And instead, I'm just going to go ahead and switch right into my Weezing, who does a great job at uh, walling that Grand Bowl. So he does end up going into that thing, intimidates Hitmonchan right as I switch out. And this is a perfect matchup for me, so I got the double switch correct. And as you'll notice, there is quite a few mind games in this match, which is uh, what I do love about Wi-Fi battles. So he's not going to switch right into the Lantern, as I just hit something with a Will-O-Wisp. Turns out to land on the fish, which, you know, is it's kind of fine. It's going to whittle this thing down a little bit. But um, I don't have much to really, any reason to stay in here. So I do want to switch out. I noticed that Weezing is great against his team, especially against that Grand Bull. So I do want to save that thing. Uh, it's good for his Scyther as well. So I decided to switch into Cray Dilly on the off chance that he might go for a Scald. But he's just going to end up going for the Volt Switch, which is a good play on his end. And this allows him to bring a matchup in against Cray Dilly. So he decides to go into the Pitless Wine here. I know that an Ice Skull Crash from an Adamant 252 attack does uh, about 80% to me, so I know I can take that, but he actually ends up going for an Ice Shard, which to my surprise, he told me that it ended up being a misclick there, so that's quite unfortunate, as this allows me to get a Giga Drain off, and it doesn't do as much as I was hoping for, but it does whittle that thing down a little bit. Uh, the thing's really defensive and kind of just a pain in the ass. So now I really don't want to take an Icicle Crash, and I do have a perfectly good Weezing, so I'm going to switch right back into the old Disco Balls and get this party started. But he actually ends up missing that, which is really unfortunate. So uh, at this point, I'm actually just going to go ahead and go right for a Sludge Bomb. As I figure, he doesn't have a whole lot to bring into it, and he's going to go into the Pyroar here. I really wish I did have my Stealth Rock up, but I know he has that Skun Tank with the Defog, so I wasn't able to get it up early. Uh, but there's a lot of switching going on, so it would be really nice to have rocks up. But uh, I know that Hitmonchan can handle this thing very well. I can take any hit it wants to throw at me, as it ends up going for a Hidden Power and uh, I obviously eat that up. So he doesn't really want to take a fighting move, and I actually, I figured I might as well stay in here and go for the safe play and just go right for the Drain Punch. Maybe thinking that he would expect me to switch and go into Weezing expecting the Grand Bull, but he does make the obvious play and just goes right into uh, the Pit Bull. So uh, I Drain Punch that thing after the Intimidate, doesn't do anything, and that is uh, kind of a bummer. So I'm gonna actually switch right into Weezing here. I know that He's probably just going to go for a play rough, but he predicts the switch into Weezing, and he's going to bring back in the Pyroar. So, good play on his end. He got the, the better end of the prediction there, and uh, I do not want to let Weezing take a special attack. This thing is probably choice specs. That's generally what you do see Pyroar running, so I'm going to switch right back into my Hitmonchan to take that, and the Flamethrower is not going to do a whole lot. Um, it leaves me at about 50 HP, and this allows me to uh, just go for another Drain Punch. I figure there's no way he's going to go into the Grand Bowl this time, because he knows I can double back into Weezing. But he does bring this thing in again, and I just end up going for the safe play. I figure he saw my prediction early, so maybe I, I can get some good momentum just going for the safe plays. But uh, he does bring that thing in, and I've Drain Punched it like three times, and I, I, that's not doing shit. So I'm forced to go right back into Weezing here, and he is going to actually play rough this time as I avoid it, which... It's kind of funny, he's getting really unlucky on the misses there, but it wouldn't have really done much to me anyway. Um, but it's the thought that counts. So I go for the Sludge Bomb here as it's going to go uh, land on the Lantern. Things are obviously a special defense while it takes it extremely nicely, and uh, it's going to get hurt by its burn over there. So here I know that he's probably going to go for another Volt Switch, so rather than switching out, I decided to stay in, knowing that Weezing can take that nicely. 
Um, he does end up going for the Volt Switch there, and this uh, allows him to bring back in the Skunk Tank, which I can't really hurt too badly, um, but I do go for a Sludge Bomb here just to get some damage on something. And as I'm looking at this matchup, I realize, A, this battlefield probably smells just terrible. There's way too much poison going on. So, uh, also, I do realize that this thing is going to hit me with a Dark Pulse, and I do not want to get hit with a special attack. So, I'm just going to switch right back into my Hitmonchan, who is getting relatively whittled down here. So, that does kind of suck, but I take that Dark Pulse very nicely. And uh, this allows me to have a couple options here. Either he's going to go back into that Grand Bull, or he's going to predict me to go back into Weezing. But I try to make the safer play again, as he's going to go right back into the freaking Grand Bull. I probably should have predicted that, um, but I just really did not want him to catch my Weezing on a bad turn, because I really do need that thing to win this match. So, uh, a punch in the dog again. Or seriously, this thing has only gotten attacked by Drain Punch, and it's actually starting to take a toll. But here I decide, you know, maybe he'll overpredict. I'm just going to go for another Drain Punch, expecting maybe a switch into something. Uh, expecting Weezing, but he just stays in and goes for the play rough, which does take care of Hitmonchan. But the good news is, I do have a free switch into whatever I want, and I haven't been able to get up my reign at all in this battle. Um, I didn't really want to go into Life Hard just to die to a play rough. I would be able to get the reign up for 8 turns, but I am going to need it to last longer than that, so I decided to save it for later, and I just go into the safer play, which is Weezing. But I do have the reign in the back pocket, and I really just want to whittle down his team, so that way I can outspeed with Swift Swim and do some serious damage with uh, Ludicolo and Relicant. So, in comes the Lantern again, which is what I pretty much expected. As uh, that thing's actually at about half, so it's actually going to be pretty easy to take care of. And I expect him to probably go for Scald this time, just because he needs to start whittling down that Weezing. So I bring in Cray Dilly, who does get the Storm Drain to activate, which is really nice to get that plus boost and a uh, special attack. And uh, I decide to actually just go for the Stealth Rock here. I figure uh, he can bring in that Skun Tank if he wants to defog it away. I really don't mind, as uh, this thing's actually going to go for a Toxic Lantern, just doing his thing, being annoying. Thinking he's freaking better than everybody else, but uh, the poison on Credilly is actually kind of unfortunate, um, as this allows me to actually get up my Stealth Rock, though, so that's pretty damn nice. And I am expecting that Skun Tank to definitely come in relatively soon. So, eating some leftovers and then getting hurt by the poison damage as he's getting hurt by the burn. We're all sorts of just status out here. And as I'm looking at this matchup, I do want to make use of that boost I got from the Storm Drain, so I'm going to go right for a Giga Drain, although this thing is going to go for a Protect. Like I said, Lantern just... Uh, just being annoying. So he's going to stall out another turn of the poison damage as this thing's getting some hurt by some burn, but you know, it's not going to, it's not really whittling that thing down because it does have the leftovers, but uh, the poison turns are going to start to rack up, so I do have to get this Cradily out of here eventually. Um, and I also do notice that Cradily is really not all that useful for uh, his team, so uh, yeah, I'm going to let him take a Volt Switch there. I expect the, uh, the Skun Tank to come in, but I just kind of played it safe and went for another Giga Drain as freaking Donald Trump the skunk comes in with his sweet hair and uh, actually no I went for the rock slide there that's right I knew he was gonna switch went for the rock slide as the skunk tank comes in but it really just does not have enough damage to do um, be able to do a two hit KO so that kind of sucks um, but so yeah the poison damage doing its thing not gonna be down quite a bit and I decide to actually switch out here I'm gonna save Cray Dilly for death fodder and I'm gonna go right into my life part I figure it's time to get this weather freaking going as I know he's gonna go for the defog so it's a free switch and uh, yeah so he does get away get blow away them freaking stealth rocks somehow with his weird ass uh, tail I don't I don't know how he defogs but um, I'm gonna go right for the rain dance here and get this shit going Maybe some momentum's gonna be on my side here as he is gonna bring in the grand bull So intimidates me, but my part ain't afraid of no dog even though I'm a freaking cat um, I summon some rain and that is gonna hang around because I do have the damp rock So that'll be there for eight turns, which is really nice So I know that this thing is gonna go for the play rough and I also know that Relicant is pretty bulky and I can take like only take like 30% damage from that So I'm gonna go ahead and you turn out of here and I'm gonna bring in the oldest fish in all the land the fucking legend slayer is back So he goes for the play rough there um, doesn't do too much damage to me and now I am gonna be faster because of uh, Swift Swim and a head smash is going to absolutely obliterate that thing So choice banded Relicant in the rain is a force to be reckoned with let me let me tell you I haven't used Grandpa in forever, and I freaking love this guy. So, uh, now he brings in the fish of his own, and it's time to see who the better freaking fish is. Clearly, I have way more years under my belt. I have a little bit of fish arthritis, but I'm good to go. As uh, he does go for the protect there, just kind of stalling out a rain turn. As uh, the choice band head smash is just going to be way too much for this thing to handle. So, um, he can try to go for a double protect, but he does not. And I am obviously faster, so a head smash is going to land on that thing, and it uh, is going to obliterate that thing as well. So... Grandpa doing his freaking thing. I get hurt by a whole bunch of recoil, which sucks. 
as now this allows him to bring in the Piloswine. So I'm thinking Ice Shard is probably going to kill me, so I want to save Relicant here, and I decide to go right into my Weezing. But then I realize he's probably just going to be able to set up Stealth Rock, and that's kind of no fun. So Weezing is able to eat that up nicely. Um, I can. I, the only really thing I have to do to this is Flamethrower, but then again, in the rain, it's not going to hurt too bad. Plus, it has thick fat. So, I decide he's probably going to set up the Stealth Rock here, so this allows me a free switch into my Dancing Guacamole Pineapple. And uh, I have Swift Swim as well, so I'm able to uh, take advantage of that. So, he goes for the Ice Shard just to get a little bit of damage off before he goes down. As I go for a Hydro Pump, and I freaking miss, so that really sucks as the rain goes away. Um, I'm just going to go right for another Hydro Pump here as he's going to bring in the freaking Skun Tank. Essentially, just for Death Fodder at this point, I do connect on this one, and that is going to kill that thing. So it's good to see Skun Tank down, and uh, that's pretty awesome. So, without the rain up, Ludicolo is not all that useful, and since he got the Stealth Rock up, Relicant is going to die upon switching in, so I do need to conserve this Ludicolo if I want to... Uh, I want to win so he brings in the scyther that thing is obviously going to outspeed me so i decide to switch into grandpa here just to die to the stealth rock which is fine as that thing is going to u-turn the air so now i can bring in whatever i want and wheezing is a perfect matchup against this damn scyther who i'm actually very afraid of i do know that i need to whittle this thing down before i can kill it with ice beam from ludicolo plus i do need the rain up so there's a bunch of things i need to get done here it would be nice if i had my freaking stealth rock but unfortunately i do not as uh in comes the pyro again as I just hit that thing with a sludge bomb, trying to get as much damage as possible. Um, but that thing is able to live that with red health. And uh, it's not looking like Disco is going to be able to take a flamethrower. So I am going to switch out here. And I decide to go into Cradilly, pretty much just to sack this thing off. Uh, there's a chance that I could be able to get up Stealth Rock. But the Specs Flamethrower is going to be way too much. Especially with the poison damage. Cradilly is just does not stand a chance there. So Cradilly though tries his best. But uh, he, he is going to go down here to another Flamethrower. Which is not too bad though. Because with the empty battlefield on my side. I can bring in whatever. And this seems like a great opportunity to get that rain back up. So I am going to bring in the Prankster. And pretty much ready to dance for some rain. So... Um, this Pyroar, after the rain actually gets up, I realize that he's probably locked into Flamethrower, and I don't think it's going to be able to kill uh, with the decreased damage from the rain. So, I do get that up. He goes for the Flamethrower, which shows me he's definitely locked into that. And uh, the power of rain helps me out there, so I'm able to live it with 26 HP. And now I am faster, so I can finish it off with a knockoff, which is awesome. So, I am the better kitty. And uh, at this point, all he has left is going to be the Piloswine and the Scyther. So it's looking like Ludicolo has a chance. So I'm going to go right for a knockoff here as uh, he actually doesn't go for the Ice Shard. Maybe he was expecting me to go into Weezing, but it's really nice to be able to knock off that thing's Eviolite. Going to make it way easy to take care of. And uh, I am actually afraid of... So I saw how much his Ice Shard did to Ludicolo initially. And now he has Stealth Rock up. So I don't want to bring in Ludicolo just yet. Because I am Life Orb. And I will be limited on the amount of hits I can take. So I bring in Weezing. I go for the Will-O-Wisp just in case. I know that uh, I'm not going to be able to do too much damage to this thing. So I kind of wanted to play it safe there um, with the Will-O-Wisp. So he's not able to do too much to me with the Ice Shard. Which is awesome. As I'm over here eating some Black Sludge. And now I can just try to kind of test the waters and go for... Uh, a sludge bomb here just to see how much damage it does keep in mind i do need this rain up to be able to outspeed that scyther so i think there's only five more turns left at this point maybe four um, but he goes for another ice school crash and uh, i live that nicely actually i think there's three turns of rain at this point so he is gonna die to the burn damage which is really nice and now it is just me against this scyther so in comes this thing and wheezing actually has enough health to be able to take an aerial ace from this thing which is perfect because i need to be able to whittle this thing just a little bit um, to allow ludicolo to kill so i go for this sludge bomb it does a decent chunk of damage as he is going to be able to take me out with another aerial ace but luckily there is one turn of rain left so ludicolo has the chance i can bring this thing in swift swim is going to allow me to still be faster and now it's just all a matter of if ice beam is going to be able to take this thing out so i am going to outspeed obviously that swift swim pineapple is fast as shit and an ice beam is gonna be able to take that thing out just barely i believe wheezing got like a maximum roll um, so that allowed that Ice Beam to be able to take it out, and that was an extremely close match. Uh, that was one of the first battles I had with this team, and honestly, using Weather is just a really fun time in general. I really like using Ludicolo and Relicanth, and uh, that, was, that was just an extremely close match. I think it was like something like 50 turns, so uh, that was a great game. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button on this video if you enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe for some more uh, Wi-Fi battles. Peace out.